Jin's torchbearer role at the 2024 Paris Olympics sparks discussion, the Korean government is rumored to have paid for Jean, BTS, to become a torchbearer at the 2024 Paris Olympics. This speculation has led to widespread discussions, with many questioning the authenticity of Jin's role in the event. As a prominent member of BTS, Jin's involvement in such a significant event was bound to attract attention. However, the idea of government interference adds a layer of controversy to his participation. While some view this as a strategic move to boost national pride and global visibility, others see it as undermining the integrity of the torch relay selection process. Jean leading the torch relay has caused a lot of speculation. His appearance at the Louvre Museum in Paris, carrying the Olympic torch, has been a highlight for many fans and observers. The image of Jean leading the parade was widely shared on social media, quickly becoming a top trending topic on Twitter worldwide. This level of visibility underscores Jin's international influence and the global reach of BTS. However, it also brings into question the processes behind selecting torchbearers. The Louvre, a symbol of art and history, provided a grand backdrop for Jean, making the event even more memorable. Yet, the grandeur of the event contrasts sharply with the controversies surrounding it, Jean will represent Korea to carry the torch at the 2024 Paris Olympics. This honor places him alongside other notable figures, making his participation a matter of national pride. Yet, the rumors that Jin's spot was paid for by the Korean government have fueled debates about fairness and transparency. It is essential to recognize that representing one's country on such a platform is a significant achievement, irrespective of the surrounding controversies. The Olympic torch relay is a tradition steeped in history and symbolism, and Jin's role in it could be seen as a nod to the cultural impact of K-pop and South Korean soft power. Jin's torch relay image is widely shared on social media. The viral spread of his image highlights the power of social media in shaping public perception. With nearly 900,000 discussions about Jin's torch relay image, it's clear that his participation has struck a chord with many. This level of engagement showcases not only Jin's popularity, but also the intense scrutiny faced by public figures. The speed and scale of social media reactions can amplify both support and criticism in equal measure. The discussions range from admiration of his achievements to critical analysis of the potential influence behind his selection. It is suspected that Jean did not participate in the torch relay at the Olympics for no reason. Many believe that the Korean government paid for Jin's torch relay spot, leading to further speculation and controversy. Yu Sung Min, a member of the International Olympic Committee, denied that the government helped Jean become a torchbearer. He emphasized that the selection of torchbearers is not a matter for a country to decide, highlighting the independence of the process. This statement aims to clear doubts but has not entirely quelled the debates among netizens and media outlets. The coup reported that Olympic torchbearers are all nominated by the Olympic Committee, official sponsors, or the French government. For instance, Thierry Henry was recommended by the event organizers, Tang Wei carried the torch as part of an official sponsor, and Snoop Dogg was recommended by the local government. Jean was recommended by Samsung, an official sponsor of the Olympics, where he serves as a brand ambassador in Korea. This clarification should, in theory, dispel the rumors of government involvement. The role of corporate sponsorships in the Olympic Games is significant, often intertwining commercial interests with sports traditions. Jean just completed his mandatory military service on June 12, becoming the first member of BTS to be discharged from the military. This milestone marks a new chapter in his career. In the near future, Jean will focus on solo activities, a highly anticipated move by his fans. His participation in the torch relay, therefore, marks an important milestone in his career post-military service. The South Korean government has denied paying for Jean to participate in the torch relay, yet the debate continues, reflecting the complexities of public perception and media narratives. Jin's re-entry into the entertainment industry is highly anticipated, and his Olympic appearance could be a strategic move to re-establish his presence. Jin's appearance at the Olympics has undoubtedly attracted a lot of attention. As a famous figure in South Korea, his involvement in such an international event is significant. Samsung's role in nominating Jin underscores the influence of corporate sponsorships in the Olympic Games. Jin's return after completing his military service and his focus on solo activities promise exciting developments for his fans. His participation in the torch relay was a remarkable event, contributing to promoting Korea's image internationally and showcasing the nation's cultural ambassadors on a global stage. 
The event highlights the intersection of entertainment, sports, and national pride, illustrating how influential figures like Jean can transcend traditional boundaries to represent their country on the world stage. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, is a prominent and influential organization that has significantly shaped the landscape of international sports since its inception. Established in 1894 by Pierre de Coubertin, the IOC was created with the vision of reviving the ancient Olympic Games and promoting the values of sport, peace, and international cooperation. With its headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland, the IOC has grown into a pivotal entity in the world of sports, orchestrating the largest and most prestigious athletic events globally, the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. The foundation of the IOC was driven by Pierre de Coubertin's belief in the power of sport to foster harmony among nations and to contribute to the development of a more peaceful world. He envisioned the Olympic Games as a platform where athletes from diverse backgrounds could come together, compete in a spirit of mutual respect, and showcase their abilities. This vision has remained at the core of the IOC's mission, guiding its actions and initiatives over the decades. One of the primary responsibilities of the IOC is to organize and oversee the Olympic Games. These games, held every four years, alternate between the summer and winter editions, bringing together thousands of athletes from around the world. The IOC's role in this process is multifaceted and involves selecting the host city, setting the rules and regulations for the competitions, and ensuring that the events are conducted with the utmost integrity and fairness. The selection of the host city is a meticulous process that involves evaluating bids from various cities and assessing their capabilities to host an event of such magnitude. This includes considerations of infrastructure, security, transportation, and the legacy plans for post-games use. The IOC also plays a crucial role in promoting the Olympic movement, which encompasses not only the Olympic Games, but also the broader goals of promoting sport and physical activity worldwide. This movement aims to inspire people of all ages and abilities to engage in sports, highlighting the benefits of an active lifestyle. Through various programs and initiatives, the IOC works to make sports more accessible, particularly in underserved and developing regions. This commitment to inclusivity is evident in the Olympic Solidarity Program, which provides financial and technical assistance to national Olympic committees NOCs, around the world, enabling them to support their athletes and develop sports infrastructure in their countries. The mission of the IOC extends beyond the realm of sports competition. The organization is dedicated to promoting peace and understanding through sport, leveraging the universal appeal of the Olympic Games to bring people together. This is encapsulated in the Olympic Charter, which outlines the fundamental principles of Olympism, including the pursuit of excellence, respect for others, and the importance of fair play. The IOC's commitment to these principles is reflected in its efforts to combat doping, corruption, and other forms of misconduct that threaten the integrity of sport. By implementing stringent regulations and collaborating with international bodies such as the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA, the IOC strives to maintain the highest standards of ethical conduct in sports.